Hey everybody, Ann here, and good boy Papa, sitting here drinking my coffee inside the tiny house, getting ready to go out and do some stuff, but I have some wonderful, wonderful news. There is a new feather baby on the homestead, and I'm going to show you it right now. There she is. There's the new fur baby. Her name is Cayenne, and she's an Easter Eager. My next door neighbors hatched her out. And she's as sweet as can be. I put her back in here with Beauty to kind of get acclimated to the rest of the flock. Very, very, very timid at first. The reason why she's here is because the rest of his chickens were chasing her around and picking on her. And they brought him over yesterday. And I was just so thrilled to have her. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I just took her in my arms and she just... Oh, she's just a sweetheart. She kind of looks like Patty. She kind of looks like the other Easter Eggers. But it looks like she's getting around. And yeah, Beauty, hop along. Hop along, Beauty. Yep, she even got up on this roost last night. Um, so we'll just see how this goes. I may let her out around the other chickens. But uh, I don't know if I'm going to do that today or not. I'm just not sure. Um... She's about, she's almost 21 weeks old. She'll be 21 weeks old this this uh, week. She hasn't started laying yet, but that could come at any time. Hello, beautiful girl. Oh. I just love you. That's a perfect name for her too, Cayenne. Adorable. I don't know about the rest of you guys, if you're going to be nice to her or not. You in particular, because you were at the bottom of the totem pole in the picking order. And so you tend to chase the new girls around a little bit. Hello, Romeo. I don't know, maybe I'll let her out. I think what I'll do is I'll get some scratch and kind of throw it around the yard in the old rooster pen. And uh, maybe distract them and give them something to to hunt and peck around for. There's already some scratch out there, but it wouldn't hurt to give them a little bit more. Well, it looks like Miss Patsy's in here trying to lay an egg, so at least she'll be in here. What do you think, Splash? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get you out of here, Splash, because I don't want you rushing in. Go on, chicken. Okay, girl, the door's open. You can come out anytime, but I gotta watch, because I don't want I don't want Beauty to try and hop out. I don't think she's ready for the outdoors yet. Okay, she's out. She's found a hiding place. I got the door closed so Beauty can't get out. So let's just see what happens. Look at She's just kind of staying in the back. Maybe she'll come out. I think maybe... I, I put some scratch out here. That's okay. I think Splash wants to lay an egg. I just decided to bring her out. Look at that face. I know the lighting may not be the greatest. Look at that little tiny comb. Say hello, Cayenne. Ain't she beautiful? <laughs> Come on. Look over here, girlfriend. My new girlfriend. Look at that. She is just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. You're a sweet chicken. Yes, you are. You're my sweet baby. <laughs> Lick it. <laughs> Love her. Okay, I'm going to put her down. And... I don't know, maybe she'll go back in the van. Maybe she'll just want to be around me. You sure are pretty. Okay, here we go, girlfriend. Whoops. Sorry about that. Oh, oh, oh. Look it. Right away. Yeah, she's going to go back in the van. Sorry, my filming isn't all that great right now. Come on, Romeo. Be nice. 
Just let her get acclimated. Look at her coloring. Oh my gosh. She's really scared. It's all right. She'll get used to it. So long as this guy leaves her alone. Look at those legs. She got them green legs. That's a pretty chicken right there. <laughs> well, nobody's trying to attack her, so I'm just gonna hang back and see what happens. Oh, here comes Roxy. You know there's gonna be a showdown. Surprise, yeah, Romeo gets over there kind of like in between. He's a referee. He's not gonna let anything happen to this hen. Nope. Oh! <laughs> Told ya. Get yourself some food. Good girl. Here's one of my Easter eggers. <laughs> All right, we'll just kind of watch and see. So far, so good. Let's see what happens with Mama. Oh. She's just gonna go back up in the van. That's okay. No, nope. she's like, I'm cool. I'm all right. Oh no, Splash is up in there. She's got plenty of places to run. They'll all get used to her. Look how gorgeous she is. Oh my gosh. Thank you, neighbor family. It was so cute when they came over yesterday. The two boys were in blue jeans with, uh, with a belt and not sagging, pulled all the way up like they're supposed to be. They both had on plaid shirts that were tucked in, and the littlest one had this big old cowboy hat on. Oh, they just look so handsome. They were just concerned because the other chickens were picking on this one, and I think she may look different than the other hens, um, and sometimes that'll happen. I know that black Asians are known to kind of do that. Heck, the leghorns are as well. I think all chickens might be that way, but Cayenne sure is a pretty chicken. The papa's just in the yard being a good boy. Yes, he is. She's venturing out. She's not running back into the van. It's okay, it's okay. See? She's a little thing. Easter eggers, uh, they mature a lot slower. It took forever for the, my Easter eggers to get big. Oh, good. Good, good, good. She found the rooster pen. You know what? I'm going to take some more water back there so they can have a nice water thing back there, too. There's some scratch on the ground. I've done a little bit of foraging for the chickens, and you'll notice that, well, they like the newer grass, the softer grass, and they love clover and all different sorts of stuff in there and I chop it up a little bit more for the chickens just to make it easier for them to eat because out in the wild they're picking pieces of it like from a plant that's in the ground so um, I'm trying to mimic the mouthfuls that they would get I mean they'll just slurp it down but I'm gonna put this in various spots in hopes of uh, encouraging this one to eat and the others to not attack her there she goes Girl, they're back here. She's got plenty of places to run and hide. See, she can get up underneath of there. So I think everything's going to be okay. I'm just going to let them do their thing. I just need to 
stop watching <laughs> and let them get to know one another. She sure is having a fun time exploring though. It's been going swimmingly. Everything is going well. And I think this video is long enough. Tomorrow I'm going to remove uh, Beauty's bandages and see how she's doing underneath there. Test the leg a little bit. And um, I may need some help. I'll probably have to go across the street to Mr. Lucas. But everything is great. Thank you so much, neighbor family, for giving me Cayenne. I love her. Oh, she is just the sweetest thing ever. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.